Hello all and welcome back to this course on digital systems. Uh, in the last lecture, we motivated the need for Boolean algebra. So let's get started in this lecture with the idea of a Boolean variable and Boolean operator. Okay. So uh, in mathematics, you know, you have algebra. Whereas here we are going to deal with Boolean, right? So uh, typically our variable, okay, in algebra can take any real value, right, from minus infinity to infinity, right, or a subset of that. It could be integers, rational numbers, it doesn't matter, right? Whereas a Boolean variable that we are talking about in Boolean algebra will take what is known as the digital values, which is either 0 or 1. Okay. Likewise, the, uh, you know, the operators, what are the operators? We are talking about mathematical operators, right? So, you will, you will be talking about addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and so on, right. You can talk of uh, functions of this and you can do so many things with it. But the fundamental operators that you will be dealing with are the arithmetic operators, right. On the other hand, because we are dealing entirely with logic gates in Boolean algebra, we will be dealing with logical operators, okay, um, which is basically inversion and or uh, you know uh, nor right I would say just inversion and and or are sort of the fundamental operations right and uh, the symbols could be confusing at times the uh, for example the and is represented by a dot okay or just a multiplication right. Uh, which you will see in some time. The or could be represented with a plus, right? And uh, um, by default, this will mean an or operation. Sometimes we will be dealing with addition as well in binary, right? In binary uh, logic, right? In Or in the binary number system. In that case, it will be explicitly mentioned. However, the context will make it clear whether we are talking about the OR operation or we are talking about the addition operation, right? And inversion usually is represented with a bar on top, right? Or in uh, languages like Verilog, you will see this idea, okay? So, what is an operator? By the way, an operator basically just takes, you know, either one variable and does something to it or it could take two or more variables and do something with it. Right. So, what are the variables that we are talking about in Boolean algebra? Now, I mean the uh, operators that we are talking about in Boolean algebra. For example, inverter. Right. We had mentioned that it's basically a logic gate that simply inverts the output y. The output y is a logical inversion, is a logical inversion of the input a. Right. And we said that the truth table can be defined in the uh, you know, 0, 1, 1, 0 kind of operation. Here, you would just say y equal to a bar, okay. So, the bar on top essentially determines if this is, um, you know, an inversion or not, okay. Um, similarly, you have an AND gate, okay, which um, operates on two inputs. A and B and you tend to say Y equal to A dot B or just A B. Okay, A B means we are talking about and. And here um, it is very evident that since it is a product, right, only if both happen to be 1, you will get the output Y to be 1, right. Uh, the OR gate on the other hand right the or gate here essentially um, deals with again not uh, two inputs a and b 
a b y and you say y equal to a or b okay um, again the plus is sort of a very intuitive thing because it's an addition if either a is 1 or b happens to be 1 the output will be 1 of course when both a and b are 1 we are talking about a special operation it's not the mathematical addition we are talking about 1 or logical or 1 and therefore that is also a logical 1 okay and so these two uh, these three operations are very very intuitive and they form the fundamental building block of the boolean algebra and boolean simplification okay now for example let's take you know the nand gate that we had seen earlier okay a b y and what did we say this was this was basically a and gate a b followed by an inverter and you get the output y okay so we said y1 is actually a and b okay because it's an the output of an and gate and y itself is y1 bar okay so you can typically write this as a into b whole bar so this is exactly the idea of the uh, the boolean uh, algae boolean variable representation of the which replaces the truth table so once i tell you y equal to a b whole bar it will entirely capture the information of that functionality i don't need the truth table anymore okay likewise if i take the the nor gate i take input a b y uh, this is nothing but an OR gate which is followed by an inverter. So you get A, B, Y1 and Y. So Y1 equal to A plus B where the plus represents the OR operator and Y1 is obviously sorry Y1 is A plus B and Y is going to be Y1 whole bar so i can again represent this as a or b whole bar right so uh, this gives you a gist of the boolean representation now let's take the example that we saw in the previous lecture right and we'll see if we can you know at least put some expressions in there and see what happens okay for example we said that i had an inverter okay a and the in b was also inverted okay and then we fed this to a nand gate and a nor gate this was one input this was one input this was the other input this is the input so this is the circuit that we had right and we had y1 and y2 right so if i look at this if i propagate the variable through these logic gates it would be y uh, the output of the inverter would be a bar the output of the second inverter would be b bar okay this is what we called as a1 and b1 in the previous uh, example right now what is my y1 y1 is nothing but whatever the inputs are right the inputs uh, are a1 into b1 whole bar likewise y2 is a1 or b1 whole bar because it's a nor gate right and i could now go ahead and write this further as complement a1 itself is a bar into uh, sorry this is a bar and this is b bar likewise i have a complement uh, a bar plus b bar or i would say a bar or b bar right and a whole bar 
Now, what remains to be seen is how did this reduce to A or B and how did this reduce to A into B? Because we said Y1 was effectively the OR gate and Y2 was effectively an AND gate. Right? This is we are yet to prove. Right? And of course, in order to prove this, we need the postulates of Boolean algebra and the rules of Boolean algebra for us to simplify this particular expression, which is what we are going to look at in the coming lectures. Thank you. Thank you.